From the dawn of time we came, moving silently down through the centuries, living many secret lives, struggling to reach the time of the gathering, when the few who remain will battle to the last. No one has ever known we were among you, until now. Thank you for checking out our channel and welcome. Today we're going to mash up two of my favorite things. The movie Highlander and Scotland. And most specifically, the Aelin Dunnan Castle. Throughout this video, I've taken scenes from Highlander and tried to match them up as closely as possible to photos that I took while in Scotland. Most of this video is centered on the Aelin Dunnan Castle. However, I do have some other surprises at the end featuring other locations in Scotland where Highlander was filmed, as well as one other location that was not filmed in Scotland at all. In addition to the focus of Highlander, we will be taking a tour of the Aelin Dunnan Castle. Unfortunately, the castle doesn't allow filming on the inside of the castle. However, I was able to sneak one shot while inside. This castle was one of the main reasons I even wanted to go to Scotland. Being a big fan of the Highlander movie, I made sure that this was on the list of places to go. A word of warning, it's a little over a four hour trip by car from Edinburgh to the castle. It's hard to believe that Highlander was filmed all the way back in 1986. There are currently rumors of a reboot, but nothing will ever be as good as the original, especially with Sean Connery no longer with us. Christopher Lambert also did a phenomenal job in the film. The castle is located right in the heart of the Highlands in Scotland. Even if you're not a Highlander fan, the trip will be well worth its while. Not gonna lie, it took me a lot to convince my wife to agree to an eight hour round trip car ride to this castle. But I think you can see by her smile here that she enjoyed the trip and it was well worth the effort. She had also never even seen the movie Highlander. On the other hand, my wife is a huge Outlander fan. Be sure to click the info bar at the top right in order to watch that video as well, as we traveled all over Scotland to see the filming locations of Outlander. This is one of my favorite scenes from Highlander. Beautiful sunset in the background, and as you'll soon see, the bagpiper. There have been several other movies filmed here at Aelin Donan Castle, including the James Bond film The World Is Not Enough. It stood in for the MI6 headquarters in Scotland. So let's do a quick tour of the Aelin Donan Castle. The castle itself is one of the most photographed in all of Scotland. There's been a fortified castle at this location since the mid 13th century. However, it has been built and rebuilt at least four times in its history. The views from here are amazing. The castle was partially destroyed during the 1719 Jacobite Uprising. It stayed in ruins for about 200 years until 1911, until Lieutenant Colonel John McRae Gilstrip bought the island. It reopened in 1932 after 20 years of hard labor rebuilding this castle. This was the only interior shot I was able to get before the guard stopped me. This is the mechanism for the drawbridge. The McRae Family Trust still owns the castle. I have heard that the McRae family still holds apartments within the castle. Apparently it's possible to hold weddings and private events at the castle. There is a plaque honoring those from the clan McRae that have died. There are still ruins on the island of other versions of the castle that were destroyed in the past. There isn't much to do around the castle, but the castle does have its own coffee shop and a gift shop. Now for another Highlander filming location that I teased you about. This is a mountain range where they filmed all the battle scenes against the Kurgan. 
Typically when they show you the Highlands of Scotland, this is one of the places they always show. It is located in Glencoe off the A82 highway. I believe there's a Glencoe Mountain Resort not far from there. For the final surprise filming location, we're going to leave Scotland and head to the United States, specifically New York. This site is the R. Nash Antique Store, located in New York City. Here you will see Russell Nash, also known as Connor McLeod, go into his antique store and home. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, so please like and subscribe to our channel. And just one final word from Connor McLeod. There can be only one.